I'm Andrew McNichol. I'm a choreographer working internationally with ballet companies across Europe and America. And I'm also the artistic director of my own company, the McNichol Ballet Collective. I'm here in Tulsa creating a brand new Cinderella, which will be my first full-length ballet for a company. So my first creation for the company was actually via Zoom with the six hour difference. And so it's funny when I came here the second time to create for the signature series in May, I kind of knew everybody, but I had never met them because it, it had all been virtual. And now my first full length with the company, it's great because we already have a rapport. I already know the dancers and have worked with them. The dancers themselves are very much part of the collaborative team and contribute and shape how the production is, is being formed. Uh, so their ideas about characters and how to embody that and communicate that and translate those physical ideas, it's very much part of the team. The interesting thing about Cinderella is it, it's been around for centuries across cultures. The first question was always, why Cinderella? One of the, the kind of first things to say is, of course, the music, the Prokofiev score, is a real gift to a choreographer. He's so incredible at, at telling the story, but also the kind of the richness of the score. Um, the characterizations and the emotion there is, is, is so inspiring to work with. The story in and of itself has appealed to such a range of audiences, but I always felt as well with Cinderella, for me, there were kind of gaps in the story that I felt that doing a new production we could really try to to answer some of those questions. So for example, normally we never really find out that much about the prince. Who is he? What motivates him? how is he deserving of Cinderella's love. And so it was a really amazing opportunity to relook at the story, stay true to the things that are um, so essential and that we love about the story, but then also try to find ways to draw out more of the kind of character's complexity, who they are, what motivates them, so that the storytelling and the, the narrative is as powerful and poignant as it can be. I think Cinderella is, is really a story that can entertain and, and also illuminate. You know, it has the magic, it has the humor, it has uh, incredible dancing. And I think at the heart of it is a character, Cinderella, who really represents and is a symbol of all of those great human attributes and qualities that, you know, kindness, compassion, courage. And, you know, in a way, it's her kindness that's her superpower. And I think as a character, she believes in that as a strength and doesn't see that as a weakness. And despite her circumstance and her reality, she still um, shows us how we might approach life and live life to the fullest. My hope is always that audiences are moved by, by what they see. And, you know, I think I want to create an experience that they remember and that the goal is to try to create characters that in some way all audiences can see something of themselves in. So they see something of themselves reflected somewhere in the production through any of the characters. And so I think I hope to create an experience that stays in the mind and the visual world that we build, I hope stays in the mind of the audiences long after the curtain comes down.